The revelation of foreign involvement in Mali's affairs continues, with recent discoveries implicating U.S. mercenaries within Mali's Anafas military base. Mali's accusations against France, highlighting its alleged financing of terrorist activities and support for regional conflicts, drew widespread attention at first. These claims implied that Mali possessed substantial evidence justifying charges against France at the International Criminal Court, indicating a significant schism in their relations. However, the focus has now expanded with the exposure of U.S. mercenaries operating within Mali's military base. This new development raises concerns about foreign involvement in Mali, which extends beyond France to include the presence of American mercenaries. The revelation sheds light on the multifaceted nature of foreign meddling in Mali's internal affairs, raising questions about the extent and motivations of foreign presence within the country's military infrastructure. The revelation of U.S. involvement, along with previous accusations against France, highlights Mali's growing efforts to address and expose foreign influences, fueling discussions about the region's geopolitical complexities. In the midst of Mali's political unrest following a coup, U.S. military involvement in the country has raised eyebrows, particularly in light of the recent discovery of U.S. mercenaries within Mali's Anafas military base. Despite the withdrawal of U.S. troops following the coup, the presence of these mercenaries raises concerns about their activities and motivations. When Mali's armed forces discovered the mercenaries, they were immediately apprehended. However, the subsequent actions taken against these individuals are unknown, as their illegal presence implies the possibility of spying and espionage charges. This unexpected discovery of U.S. mercenaries in Mali highlights the complexities of foreign involvement in the region and calls for further investigation into their role and objectives within Mali's military infrastructure. The U.S. has been involved in Mali's affairs since the 2013 coup, which created a power vacuum that two or six separatist rebels in the north exploited. The United States took advantage of the opportunity to establish a military presence under the guise of providing assistance during the conflict. Their involvement grew over time, from stabilization efforts to train Mali troops, conducting counterterrorism operations, and providing logistical support to French forces in the Sahel. Despite plans to gradually reduce U.S. troop numbers between 2019 and 2021, concerns about the Malian government's cooperation and potential civilian casualties prompted an accelerated withdrawal of U.S. forces from Mali. The United States shifted its foreign policy in 2022, withdrawing troops from Mali to end a decade-long military involvement, with the withdrawal completed by August 2023. Nonetheless, recent revelations call this claim into question, indicating the presence of U.S. mercenaries from PMC Unity Resources Group in Mali. Anafis, once a hub of cultural exchange, has emerged as a strategic battleground in Mali's complex political landscape. Its recent capture by Malian forces revealed artifacts and documents, including an ID card belonging to a senior officer of the Unity Resources Group, indicating foreign involvement and influencing Mali's peace efforts. Anafis, historically a trading hub, has become a critical point on Mali's geopolitical chessboard, located near rebel strongholds like Kadal. The discovery of American mercenaries there raises concerns about national security and the government's border control capabilities, as well as global debates about the role of private military companies in modern conflicts and foreign powers' motivations in safeguarding their interests through such intermediaries. The recent discovery of the Unity Resources Group in Anif's Mali points to a possible new trend of outsourcing military operations to non-state entities. The presence of unidentified foreign individuals, including Chief Officer Stephen Russell Sherlock, was reported in late 2022 and observed in October 2023, raising concerns about Mali's sovereignty and security. Evidence discovered at the liberated Annex military base, including identification cards and sensitive data, strengthens suspicions of foreign meddling, complicating Mali's quest for peace and stability. This disclosure calls Mali's territorial integrity into question, implying a shift in foreign intervention strategies toward private intermediaries. Furthermore, Mali has accused France of multiple airspace violations, accusing it of providing support to non-state actors in the region.
These strained relations with France, which was lauded for its intervention in 2013, now complicate geopolitical dynamics, particularly in light of reports of Russian forces entering Mali. The allegations, which France denied, sparked diplomatic tension, highlighting Mali's shift in alliances and the West's diminishing influence in the Sahel region. The foreign minister of Mali proposed a Security Council meeting to present evidence of France's alleged destabilizing efforts. This emerging narrative represents Mali's complex geopolitical landscape, marked by shifting alliances and accusations leveled at former colonial powers. Mali and France's tensions have risen, with Mali accusing France of undermining its sovereignty and supporting terrorist activities within the country. Since the 2020 coup and the withdrawal of French troops in 2022, Mali's claims, including accusations of espionage and subversion by French forces, have resulted in strained diplomatic relations between the two countries. Mali has accused France of espionage, financing terrorist activities through non-governmental organizations, and involvement in subversive activities. France has been accused of violating Mali's airspace, supporting armed groups, and manipulating footage to tarnish the reputation of Mali's armed forces. Furthermore, Mali's alleged collaboration with Russian private security firms has complicated the situation, leading to increased tensions between the two countries. These tensions stem from France's colonial ties to Mali, as well as ongoing military interventions such as Operation Serval in 2013, which marked the start of France's long-term military presence in the region. Despite official troop withdrawals, suspicions persist that both France and the United States are still secretly intervening in Mali's affairs, exacerbating already strained relations. The U.S. first intervened in Mali in 2013, providing training and counterterrorism assistance to French and Malian forces, with a troop count of around 5,000 by 2021. Despite both France and the United States' stated intentions to withdraw troops by 2021, completed by 2023, suspicions lingered about covert tactics to maintain influence in Mali, such as the use of mercenaries and surveillance operations. Foreign troop involvement, particularly from the West, has coincided with Mali conflicts, implying possible support for these conflicts. France's Operation Serval in 2013 initially quelled regional unrest, but may have unintentionally escalated conflicts, fueling tensions and communal distrust of perceived neocolonial foreign intervention. Foreign involvement, particularly from France, critics claim, exhibited favoritism, exacerbating violence and instability. Mali's armed forces recently discovered sensitive documents and items at the Anifis military base, indicating a possible U.S. mercenary presence. However, no troops were discovered because they may have left the base before Mali's forces arrived. With the base in Mali's hands, repercussions for any remaining U.S. mercenaries are expected, signaling Mali's intent to assert its sovereignty. Mali's pursuit of justice through the International Criminal Court ICC, may raise concerns, given the ICC's perceived bias towards non-Western countries as evidenced by a disproportionate focus on African cases and perceived Western influence in its decision-making process. The ICC's investigation handling, combined with recent events such as the Russia-Ukraine conflict, has heightened skepticism about the court's impartiality highlighting potential political influences on its proceedings and the selective targeting of individuals based on nationality or affiliation. This selective approach has given rise to accusations of bias and political scheming. What should be done with the U.S. mercenaries apprehended at the Anifis military base, in your opinion? Should they be charged and sentenced in order to ensure that foreign countries never openly violate the sovereignty of African countries? Let us know what you think about Western countries' obsession with maintaining military presences in Mali and other African countries. Would you like to see more videos like this one? If you answered yes, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, the black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.